Welcome back to the 411 on Tech. We recently purchased a MacBook Pro M1 Max, which we'll be using for video editing in Final Cut Pro. We want to edit off the MacBook with it in clamshell mode, as that will be more efficient for us. So we needed to pick up a mouse. We went with the Logitech G604. This mouse retails for $99.99, but we were able to get it on sale for $45. It does go on sale occasionally, so keep an eye out for that. We chose this mouse because it has 15 programmable buttons, which would be great for video editing, but also great for all you gamers out there who like to play MMO and MOBA style games. So we're going to get into it right after this. The design of the Logitech G604 is very stealthy. It has an all black body with the Logitech G logo on the top offset by a gray metal scroll wheel. There are grippy surfaces where your thumb, index, and pinky fingers rest. This will ensure your fingers stay planted during those intense gaming sessions or just help with better control if you're doing productivity work. So overall, matte black plastic and grippy surfaces are what you will encounter when handling the mouse. The mouse felt comfortable in both our hands. It never felt too big or too small. The way my hand rests on the mouse never fatigued my hand during any of my time using the mouse. I also like the wing thumb rest more than I thought I would. Having a place to rest your thumb is really nice. Altogether, you have 15 controls on this mouse and they're all programmable, which allows for a lot of customization. You have your usual left and right mouse buttons, a metal scroll wheel in the middle, which clicks not only down, but also left and right. All of which are programmable, including the scroll up and down. On the left side of the mouse, you have two buttons that have a plus and minus, and by default, those are your DPI controls. What's really nice about this mouse, also on the left, you have six additional programmable thumb buttons. And I like the placement of the buttons. They're right above the thumb rest, so you do have to reach for them a little, but it keeps you from accidentally hitting a button. On our Razer Naga Pro, the thumb buttons are right under where you rest your thumb, so I find myself accidentally hitting buttons on occasion when I'm moving the mouse around, which can be a little annoying. You also have two buttons below the scroll wheel. The top button is your wheel mode button, which allows you to toggle between ratcheted scrolling or hyper scrolling, which we'll talk more about later. And the bottom button toggles between a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection or Bluetooth. All the buttons feel premium and have a nice click to them. The scroll wheel also feels nice. I like the tactile feel to it when you scroll and I like that it's metal as it adds to the overall premium feel of the mouse. On the bottom you have smooth pads which help the G604 glide really well especially on fabric mouse pads. The mouse also glides rather nicely on our desk surface but is better on the mouse pad. We don't have a high grip mouse pad so we can't speak to that. At the bottom of the mouse, you have a tiny compartment door that flips up to open, revealing a stowaway area for the 2.4 GHz dongle and the AA battery compartment. The cover is held in place securely with a plastic tab and magnets. Moving on to features. The Logitech G604 is compatible with either Windows or Mac, which is a nice feature allowing us to use it on either platform. Customization is probably the biggest feature of this mouse with those 15 programmable controls especially the six programmable thumb buttons on the left, which are definitely going to come in handy for us, as we got this mouse to use it for video editing on our MacBook Pro. So we have the ability to map our most used Final Cut Pro shortcuts, which really helps speed up our workflow. While we got this mouse for productivity, the Logitech G604 is a gaming mouse and therefore is a good option for gaming, especially for MMO, MOBA, and strategy games, giving you the ability to map many of your in-game controls. And since Star Wars The Old Republic is celebrating its 10 year anniversary, we decided to load the game up and see how the mouse performs. Having the option to map our character's abilities and other game functions to the mouse helped improve our in-game performance and made gameplay more enjoyable. Now let's talk more about that hyperscroll feature I mentioned earlier for the scroll wheel. Clicking on that button basically unlocks your scroll wheel and allows it to scroll freely so you can quickly scroll through documents, web pages, or menus, which has been great for productivity. Another great feature of the G604 is that the DPI can be adjusted in software or with the plus and minus buttons at the front left of the mouse. The G604 is packing Logitech's Hero 25K sensor, so it has a very accurate one-to-one -one tracking which will perform great in games. The mouse is capable of tracking 400 inches per second, so it should be able to keep up with fast hand movements while gaming. 
the DPI resolution is from 100 to 25,600, which gives you all the mouse sensitivity you could ask for. All this combines to make for a very responsive mouse. While playing Star Wars The Old Republic MMO, the mouse performed very well. For connectivity, you can connect using either the USB dongle for a 2.4 GHz wireless connection or via Bluetooth. The 2.4 GHz connection is going to give you your ultra-low latency performance of 1 millisecond, which is pretty much as fast as having a wire mouse, just without the pesky wire. And with that wireless toggle button I mentioned earlier, you can easily switch between 2.4 GHz or Bluetooth. This feature is convenient if you want to use the mouse to switch between two devices. So you could have your mouse connected to your gaming PC via the 2.4 GHz wireless connection for that ultra low latency performance, and then be connected via Bluetooth to a laptop or mobile device and be able to instantly switch between the two. So let's talk about battery life now. There is no rechargeable battery here. The Logitech G604 does come with a AA battery in the box. For the price, we would like to see an internal rechargeable battery here. You get 240 hours via a USB connection and five and a half months via a Bluetooth connection. No RGB as with a lot of gaming mouse, but that's okay for me. Plus that will save you some battery life. I like the programmable buttons and the mouse is very comfortable to use. I like the huge thumb wing and how my hand rests on the mouse feels good. I don't feel like I would get any undue hand fatigue over time. Now, to talk more about customization, let's take a look at the Logitech G Hub software. So when you first open the app, you're on the main screen that will show you your devices in the middle of the screen, along with the battery status and your current connection method. At the top of the screen, you'll see your active profile. On the right, you have your app and user profile settings, and on the bottom, you have quick access links to check out lighting effects, gaming profiles, and the Logitech G website. If you click your active profile at the top, it will take you to a page where you can create and edit your profiles. You can create profiles for specific games or applications. Clicking on the add game or application tile brings up a menu where you can browse your computer and find what applications or games you want to create a profile for. You can create a profile associated with the game or application at the bottom of the screen. Clicking on the profile will make it active and then take you back to the main screen. To start customizing your profile, click on the icon in the middle of your screen for the device and it will take you to the configuration page. One of the things you can do here is adjust your DPI sensitivity. So you will see a line graph displayed that goes from 100 all the way up to 25,600. That is your DPI speed range for this mouse, as Damien mentioned earlier. You have a couple of DPI speeds already set up for you and you can add a total of 5 DPI speeds at a time. Also, if you want to quickly change to a preferred DPI speed while gaming, you can assign that as your DPI shift speed and then map the DPI shift function to a button on your mouse. For greater accuracy, you can adjust the report rate, which allows you to choose how often the mouse reports information to your computer. The higher the number, the more accurate, but it will drain your battery quicker. Since we are just using this mouse for productivity, we have ours set to 125. But if you're using it for gaming, you might want to choose a higher report rate. Another really cool thing about the G-Hub software is the ability to do button assignments for commands and specific keyboard keys for games and applications. You can also make key assignments for macros and OS level keyboard shortcuts. In the G-Hub software, you can assign commands to buttons on the mouse. We assign the run command control R, open the file explorer command control E, and the hide and show the desktop command control D to buttons on the side of the mouse. This really helps with productivity as you now don't have to take your hand off the mouse to execute those commands. You can bind keys to buttons so for example if you have a long list of abilities in an MMO game you can assign up to 15 of them that will be keyboard keys to a button on the mouse to perform that ability. Additionally, you can assign actions which are for programs such as Discord and OBS. You can set macros as well, which is a string of keyboard keys and or mouse clicks. We are using the macro feature to set macros for Final Cut Pro functions. You can also set macros to perform functions in games. Also system commands such as media controls can be mapped to the mouse for even more efficiency. Finally, there is a G-Shift button where you can toggle between an additional set of controls. The second set of controls allows you to map another 7 buttons. The mouse also has onboard memory, so if you want to use the Logitech 
G604 with a console, you can create a custom profile on your PC in the G-Hub app and then save your profile directly to the mouse. So when you connect it to the console, your customized profile is ready to go. And you can save up to five onboard profiles to the mouse at a time. So now on to final thoughts. I like the way the mouse feels in hand. I especially like the huge wing thumb rests, the 15 programmable buttons, and the G-Hub software to customize what those buttons do is really nice for video editing in Final Cut Pro. I would have liked to have seen a lithium ion rechargeable battery here at this price point of $99.99. That being said, battery life over Bluetooth is going to be really good. And that's the connection we're using for our Mac workflow. Like I mentioned before, we mostly use it for productivity, but it performed well while playing Star Wars The Old Republic. Some things I didn't like, switching between Bluetooth and 2.4 GHz is a little slow at times on the Mac. The G-Hub software isn't the most straightforward. If you're using this solely for MMO games, there are mice with more thumb buttons you could consider. Overall, for our needs, the Logitech G604 is working well. I give it a score of eight. Michelle, what are your thoughts? I really like the mouse. It's been really great for productivity and video editing, which is why we got it. But I like that it's also a good option for gaming if we decide to use it for that as well. And having those 15 programmable buttons and the ability to create macros, we can map a number of Final Cut Pro commands, which really helps us speed up our workflow. And it's also been nice mapping system commands. We have one button mapped to launch Google Chrome and some of the thumb buttons to copy, cut, and paste. And that's been super useful. I like that this mouse has the thumb rest, like you mentioned, having a place to rest your thumb is nice and the rubber surface is great too, giving you better grip. It felt really good in my hand too. I didn't experience any fatigue after a long video editing session and it's a good size as well. I have small to medium sized hands, but I didn't feel like the mouse was too big for me. We've been using the Razer Naga Pro for video editing on PC and I really like that mouse a lot. What I like about the, this mouse over the Naga Pro is having those thumb buttons higher up where they aren't directly under my thumb. Like I mentioned earlier, I find myself accidentally hitting the thumb buttons on occasion, just moving the mouse around, but I didn't have to worry about that with this mouse. And I love that you can switch between two devices, even on two different operating systems. So we have it connected to the Mac using Bluetooth and also connected to our Windows editing PC via the 2.4 gigahertz connection. And I can easily switch between the systems. So overall, I really like the mouse a lot and I give it a nine. I would like to see it have a rechargeable battery like our Razer Naga Pro. At $99, I just feel like it was a missing feature. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for this one. Please do remember to subscribe, like, and comment down below. It helps the channel grow so we can keep delivering content like this. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.